What's up guys, Devin here with Otter PR. I'm the marketing director here, and I wanna run you through exactly what it means to develop a target audience for your business and your brand. So one of the things that we'll be talking about today is one, defining exactly what a target audience is, why it's important for your business or your brand, how exactly to do it, and finally, how to create a customer avatar using all that information. So stay tuned. So first things first, let's go ahead and define exactly what a target audience is. A target audience is made up of a ton of different demographics like age, gender, location, even income level, and more. It's also based off of interests and behaviors online. So what are the things that they're shopping for? What are the things that they're searching? And how are they getting there? All of those things are super important to understand before you start marketing your business to anyone, really. Uh, the reason why you want to start to develop this idea of what a target audience is, is a little bit of a lot of different things. So first things first, Google said that 56% of their ads are actually not served to target audiences. That's a huge problem. When you're talking about a ROAS number, the amount of money that you spend on ads, you want to make sure that you're hitting your target audience every single time and not wasting money on customers that just aren't gonna buy. At that point, they're not even customers. Defining all of this will also help you kind of define your niche and category within your own industry. It'll help you see how you stack up against your competition, who they're marketing to and why, uh, and really help you define who you are and what makes you different from your competition. It will really give you an idea on how you're gonna spend your money and how you're gonna move forward with all of this in advertising and the messaging that you're sending out cross-platform. So let's talk a little bit about how exactly you're gonna do this. First things first, surveys are always gonna be your number one tool for figuring out how exactly your customers are finding you, why they're there, and how you can get to them in the future. We have our own process here when we're talking about branding at Otter PR. We have a list of about 12 different questions that we ask our customers over and over again to make sure we have the perfect audience in mind when we're developing their brand and how they're gonna be consistent with their marketing efforts going forward off of that brand. Uh, so you can go ahead and send out a survey via social media. You can send it out via email, and there are a ton of different tools that you can use to do that. The next thing that you can do is take a look at your competition. Competition analysis is massive when you're talking about developing a brand or business messaging strategy. So one thing that you can do is go ahead, check out your competition, see how they're marketing to their customers, why they're doing it, and start to emulate some of that in your own brand. This will also help you differentiate yourself in your niche and industry as well. So that's something to take into account when you're starting to develop your target audience. All of this will also help you kind of figure out what platforms they're on. So one of the things that's massively important to developing your target audience is to figure out where they came from, uh, how they're getting there, and what platforms they use uh, on a daily basis to go ahead and get your message out there effectively. If you're starting to spend money on maybe SEM, on Google pay-per-click ads, and no one's coming from Google pay-per-click ads, you're just wasting money on your ad spend. If they're all coming from Instagram, you definitely should spend your money there. So all of these things are super important when we talk about defining your target audience. You need to take them step by step, figure out who they are, where they came from, what their interests and behaviors are, start to look at competition, uh, and really start to look at the channels that they come from online. All of those things will go ahead and help you start to create what the ideal customer is for your business or brand. And that's what we call a customer avatar. All of your messaging, all of your content, all of the things that you do should be based on this customer avatar. If you take all that, combine it into one person and market to that one person, I guarantee that you'll have success online. So if you like what you hear here, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends. That is the whole point in why we're doing this. We want people to learn PR, we want people to learn marketing, we want them to learn branding and our videos are a testament to that. That's how we build our niche in our category is helping people learn. 
If you are ready to take the plunge into PR, check us out at otterpr.com where you can schedule a free consult with our PR professionals that will help get you on the right track and help market your business successfully. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.